Hello and welcome back to Frenzy's Road Tubes. You join us on a technical video today. It is very exciting because in today's technical video, this is something Ben's been wanting to do for some time. However, we've been battling the British weather. We've had rain, snow, freezing winds, but today the sun is out. There's the odd shower, we can manage that. We can run back in here for a quick tea and a warm up, go back outside and, and, and work on the cart if it rains, but fingers crossed it doesn't. Um, so yeah, today's job, he's hoping to change the front brake discs, the pads, the calipers, and the slider pins. So that's something he's been wanting to do for some time. It's been on our whiteboard. Uh, I showed you the whiteboard in our previous video. We've got our job stacking up now. And um, some good news, we like good news. The good news is uh, my car, so the Audi A4, that's gone into Audi in Cheltenham. That went in yesterday. I had a really good phone call with them uh, yesterday afternoon and they have agreed to fix and replace. So they're gonna be replacing the water pump and they're gonna be changing the cam belt free of charge. And that is really good news because the previous owner had that job done uh, December 2021 and we're only a couple of months away from the two-year cutoff, the two-year warranty cutoff. And fortunately, Audi have said yes, um, that they, they, they warrant that. That's something that they're gonna change. So that is really good news. That was a good phone call because I did not want to be paying uh, for a new camera and water pump anytime soon. So hopefully I should get that back on Monday and um, I will be really glad to have that car back. They've given me a loan car and uh, yeah, it's probably, yeah, <laughs> we'll go there. It's, it's an Audi A3, um, it's very, very basic edition. They actually gave me a, a demo car to start with and then um, I had to go back because they needed the loan car, they needed the demo car back. Um, something to do with the sales rep, wanted it for the weekend. So they then swap, swapped over and gave me another Audi A3, but the trim, the trim spec was very, very basic. And uh, what, um, what a surprise it was going into a, a basically a 20, 2022 car um, that has completely changed from dials and things like that to the screens, everything's screens and switches. And so that was quite interesting. Anyway, enough of that, I'm waffling on. Um, so yeah, take you outside and we will show you how Ben changes the brake discs, the brake pads, the calipers and the slider pins on his Freelander 2. See you out there. So you join us outside with the Freelander 2 where Ben is attempting... Attempting? Attempting. <laughs> Ben, yeah, ben, ben is going to do, as you can see, he's already taken the wheel off, he's jacked it up already, we've skipped all those bits. Um, we know how to do those by now, take the wheel off, place it underneath, jack is under there, and yeah, I think, well, because you've got spacers on, haven't you? Yeah. 30 mil spacers, so they're, they're the first thing which um, you've got to take off for anything else. And we've already applied some WD-40 to the um, brake hose there where it connects to the, the caliper. So let that bed in because they are a bit stiff to take off. Um, so, And I'm just going to go and grab the, bre the umbrella because it's going to rain so I'll be back in two ticks. So I now have the trusty umbrella. Where are we sheltering then from this winterness. <laughs> the winterness keeps happening. Oh, take off your uh, spacers there. It's going to be interesting actually how I'm going to hold this umbrella and film at the same time, but we'll go with it. So 
got to take off this. Um, what is that in there? You got to take off. It's, it's the disc retaining screw. Oh, okay. So it keeps the disc to the hub. To the hub, right? What size is that? Uh, it is the T50. T50. Okay. First. And you'd have to help me. Right? Oh, I'm gonna have to help you, aren't I? With the bar. I remember this a while ago. Um, interesting, because I've got to hold the umbrella as well. <laughs> oh, f fetch your bar. Where's your bar? Let's see if I can do it. Because if I You've got three hands now. I have. Now, well, so if I move the camera over there, that's it. Let me give you the bar. That's it. Whilst holding the umbrella. Oh, no, I can hold it. That's it. Right. I'm ready now. And it's out and it's raining. How is that possible? Let me see if I can get the umbrella out there. That's it. There we go. Yeah. It's slowly stopping. Sneak peek. Oh, yeah, yeah. A bit of blue sky coming. Heavy actually, that shower, was it? It wasn't quite like earlier. No, it was a bit different. So, what did you just remove there? Uh, that's the clip that keeps it all together, keeps stops it, 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 it stops it rattling around. It's like a head screwdriver in there, then. And then, what are you undoing now? Let's go around here and let's have a look. So, the caps for the bolts for the caliper. Oh, okay, and you're just using a flathead screwdriver. Yeah, they just yeah, yeah. pry out. Let's have a look. Just like that. There you go. Okay. Right, so to take the caliper off then, yeah. you've got a bolt there and a bolt there in those rubber bits. Right. And they're at a 7mm Allen oh, yeah. bit. Okay. Alright, so before we take those bolts out then, yeah. I want to undo just undo this. that. Undo that so it's a bit easier. Okay. As we uh, we said earlier, make sure you give this a good spray with WD-40 and leave it for quite some time. We've left ours for full, about half hour. About that. Yeah, about half hour for the... Oh, we've got a bit of a wire brush to it. Just to oh, yeah. Clean it up a bit. Clean it up a bit. Yeah, if you undo it a couple of turns, then go back again and keep rocking it like that, it cleans the thread so you can get a bit further. You can undo it a bit further, it'd be easier. Without ruining anything. Right, so. Just taking the brake hose there, aren't you? From the yeah, from its little bracket. Bracket on the um. Just so it can move a bit more. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay. Right. So now we've undone that bit, we can. Yeah. Undo these. Undo these. No, these are slider pins, aren't they? Yeah, that's a it. Sliding pin. Yeah. So when we put the new one on, you get new rubbers. Oh. So I'll replace them and we've got new, new bolts as well. Right, so
And there's your slider yeah, pin. There's your slider pin. Yeah. But we've got a new one of these. New ones, new ones of those for the new caliper. So they can go in your bin. Okay. You don't want that. And we haven't changed these, have you, in the... the pins? Yeah, you haven't changed these. No, they haven't no. been changed. No. So we yeah. don't know how old these are, and we don't know how old the calipers are either, do we? No, they're probably original. Yeah. And again, you don't want that to throw it away. Okay. Great pads out. There we have. This is something what you'll get in the um, grip part box. You'll get your new caliper. Hmm. Nice and shiny, although they don't stay shiny for very long. <laughs> right, this is your. And that's a slider kit, isn't new it? New slider kit, two new pins and the rubbers and Slide. the caps. And okay. a sachet of grease. Oh, yeah, yeah. So those rubbers fit into those holes. Oh, yeah. Which if you look on the, the old one are here. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So we're going to do that first before we put the new one in. So okay. It's all might as well when you've got it easy to you. Yeah, yeah. So you've got two new rubbers. Two caps that go on the end. And two new pins. Yeah, uh, yeah. And the grease. So ideally you want to just put a little bit of grease in the holes. Just helps those rubber caps go in, doesn't it? Yeah, helps it along its way. Not too much, but... a little bit on the rubber so mm -hmm. you want this fatter end if you like yeah to it's be good. to be stuck out so it's going to sit in there like that oh. so you want this cupped end to be at the bottom at the bottom so this bit will be sat in the metal okay so you can I just want to give that a bit of a grease in yeah as well Working its way around, you just push it in a little bit to get it going. Oh. There you go, oh, and that's yeah, just push straight in, didn't it? Push it straight in, yeah. and it comes out the other end. Yeah, yeah. You'll have a bit of excess grease come out, so you can just wipe that off. Okay. As long as the little cut bit is sat, is coming through and it sits flush on the on the caliper, you're um, you're good to go. Okay. You're happy with that. Yep. And the same again for the other side. Winds have calmed down a little bit. Yeah, really. Yeah, teeny tad. Yeah, 
There you go. There you go. Okay. Oh, not quite, just a little bit more. Yeah, just a bit more. Oh, so it sits. Yeah, if you can see. Oh, it yeah, it's quite not quite pushed through, is it? Yeah. But there seems a bit more. Persuasion. If you can get it to twist, that will help it. Yeah, yeah. In fact, there you go, there's that. Ah. Oh, yeah, it's popped through now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. There we go. So now we can disconnect that one and connect that one. Very good. Uh, this is where I need to get ready with a little, oh, yeah, yeah. little container, isn't it? Ready to catch. Um, what we got? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's good. You can just hang it from there, can't you? Yeah. Okay, so you're going to need a little container to catch little drips of what's about to come out, which is great fluid. Container, that, isn't it? So be careful it doesn't blow off. Yeah. Be a good, yeah. There'll be fluid everywhere. Oh, then we can go straight on with the other one. Okay. Mm -hmm. so it's just being very careful doing this, isn't it? Yeah. Um, making sure that you don't twist. The um, the brake hose too much. Yeah, that's why you got to try and twist the curb more than the hose. It's nice and tight. Yeah. And just Let's leave that to rest that up on there for a minute. Yeah. Right now it's chat to change the disc when you take this carrier off. Carrier off. Okay, that'll be the next part. So this is your So we take the carrier off now, the caliper carrier. Yeah. It's held on by two bolts. There's one oh, there. Oh those two right there. That one there, yeah. and that one at the top there. Okay. There are 18 millimeter. Oh, 18 mil. 18 mil bolts. Okay. So you want to, well, the other thing is you want a big bar. Wow. Ah. Because it'll be tight. It'll be tight. Okay. And it helps as well if the steering's on the angle. Oh yeah, you've so you turned can, it out. Yeah. So you can oh, get. Yeah, so you can get in there. You can get in there a bit better. There we go. Oh yeah. Once you've cracked them off, you can just use a socket then. Oh, a ratchet, sorry. As you would usually. Just that initial... Yeah, the initial yeah. cracking off, you need some a bit of leverage on it. Mm.
in that oh, case. Yeah. Put that outside for cleaning in a minute. Yeah, yeah. And then the disc. It just come off. Just come straight oh, off. Yeah. Just like that. Now we just want to clean the hub up. Yeah. Just get rid of all that bit of a clean. rubbish around there. Yeah. And then we can put it all back together again. Okay. A green copper slip, yeah, just around that bit, little bits in the gaps there, and on the threads for the notes as well. Then put the disc on. The other thing is, if you're reusing your disc screw like we are, you might yeah. want to clean that up. Clean the, okay. Because that's, uh, that's why it's so tight there. Ah, uh, yeah. It's on to corrode, isn't it? Yeah. It's nearly as good as new, that is. Now, when it comes to using it, just put another bit of copper slip in the thread. It's just turn it. Right. So, the new disc. New disc by uh, Joy Tech. Yeah. So, you just want to give it a bit of a clean off with some brake fluid. Okay. So, brake fluid. Just because they put like a fil oil film on the disc. I thought it'd do both sides. Yeah, do both sides, yeah. And it's put on, but you've got to line it up. Uh, so you 
the uh, screw hole lines up with there on, on the Okay. Screw again. Oh, yeah, nice clean screw. A little bit of copper slip on there. Just to aid when it needs to come out again. And then back on with the caliper carry after you've cleaned it off. Yeah. The pads they sit in these bits, so you need to make sure you've cleaned those out more than the rest of it. Oh. And so they've got somewhere nice to sit. Yeah, yeah. It's not going to jam them up. Again, this clean these up again. Just take the old grease off them. Any bit of gritter that might have got in there. You may want to get a wire brush to them if they like this one's a bit gummy. Yeah. You may want to just clean it off with a brush. So if you've done it quite a few times, reusing these bolts, mm. you uh, probably want to replace them oh, right. after a little while. I mean, if, you, if you've done it once or twice, it doesn't matter, you can do it a few times, but if you've done it, yeah, I don't know, if it's like your fifth time doing it or something. Right, it needs to be replaced. You, well, ideally. Ideally. Because they will stretch and whatever else over time. Yeah. And the new ones, you can see the pink stuff. Oh yeah, it's like yeah. the thread locker, that, right. that stuff. So now that's disappeared, it's likely you know the new one will have new stuff on. Yeah. It's like these slide pins that it's got new uh, yeah, on there. new stuff on it. It's probably advisable then, isn't it? So. Yeah, but a couple of times is alright. And then some more fresh grease for these as well. Certain talk or um, they 
There probably is a top to be for it, but as long as they're tight. As long as they're tight, they're not gonna come off. Oh, look at the tolerances in between the gaps of the... Yeah, it's not yeah, much to it, no, is it? No, it isn't, especially down, down yeah. there. That's... Right, now for the pads to go in. Okay. So, what I do now is get a different type of grease, brake, proper brake, brake so grease. Brake grease. And I just put a pit in these bits for us if they sit. Because then they can they slide in around a lot easier then. Stops the squeaking. Yeah. So the one without this spring on the back goes on this side. Obviously the curved bit goes inwards. So you want the longer end outwards. Like that. This one again, same again, so that's gotta go so it's sat like yeah, that. Yeah. But it goes into the caliper. The caliper first. That's what this spring is, it keeps it in the piston. So you want it to go upside down as you look at it. Takes a bit to get it in there. But... needs to go. And again, and don't forget to put that back in there. Slider pins. Slider pins. Sliding pins. Slidey slid it sliding. <laughs> so the packet come with a bit of grease. With a little chassis yeah, chasse yeah. of grease. So we use that on these, just put a bit on the on the shaft like that.
then you want to do these up there. Sliding pins in. Yeah, that's yeah. sliding pins in. You've got your disc on, your pads are in. Yeah, caliper's back on with the new caliper. Just get that off. Right down there. Just double check that's done up tight. There you go, which it is. Yeah. Right, so next thing is to put our spring clip back in. Oh, yeah. Keep it all together. So the, that bottom bit goes underneath the caliper carrier. Yeah. These two go in these holes, and that one goes on top of the carrier. On top of the carrier. So I always start from the bottom there, put it under there, into that. You can get that one in there, and with a bit of Leverage, you can go in there like that, and that's in. It's oh, on. That's it. <laughs> it doesn't look on, does it? But it's yeah, uh, but that's it's where it needs to yeah. be. Blimey. Um, so then the last thing to do is clean up your spacer. Oh yeah. And put that on.
there we go. Yeah? Yeah. Obviously, I'll tighten those up once we've got to bleed the system, haven't we? Yeah, got to bleed it now, yeah. Yeah, got to bleed, bleed the caliper. Yeah. Okay. My job is to um, push the brake when you say down, I suppose. That's it. Right. It's going to be... Okay. Are you ready then? Yeah, ready. Okay. Down. Oh, hang on, I've got to push it all the way down. Yeah, down. Yeah, down. Up. Up. Down. 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 Up. Up. Down. Down. Up. Up. Down. Down. Oh yeah, not forgetting you know to check your levels as well. That's um, keep an eye on that. got to keep an eye on your levels as as I'm pushing um, the brake pedal. It's then forcing fluid into the new caliper. So what Ben's doing now is checking the um, the reservoir, which is okay. That's located. Here, so he's keeping an eye on where there's a little panel up there. Oh, there, yeah. Keep an eye on this. There you go, so we need some already. Oh, yeah, so we're down a bit already, so yeah. we're going to get some there. And Ben's little. Always keep it away from, always cover it up. Ah, Never keep it away to... from air. Yeah, it's hydroscopic. And then you've got this down here, which is. A... Like going into there, it's filling up the caliper. Got four brake fluid in. Over that back up. And then again with this, I suppose. Yeah, one more go. Well, okay. one or two more goes with this one, because it's pretty good. I'll give you the camera then so you can. Okay. You ready? Yeah. So we open it up and say down. So down. Down. And then do it up and say up. Up. And we'll do it once more just to make sure there's no air bubbles in this tube, which doesn't look like there is. So down. Down. Up. Up. See, and then we're happy with that because there's no more air bubbles in that one. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. And as I say, we won't cover the other side um, simply because it's the same as this side. Um, so we hope this helps. And we will see you in the next, next video, whenever that will be. Brilliant. We will see you soon. Cheerio.